If you're an onion, I wouldn't mess around with Derek. Okay. Oh, Damn. That's gonna be mustardy. That's a restaurant right. quality sandwich. Back in the kitchen, got old mate Deza becoming good mates now. We're yeah, uh, we're mate. charging through, <laughs> mate. And uh, the idea is, we making this uncovered series. We've showed you the problem with animal agriculture, particularly in the UK, but across the world, not much different, not much better. And uh, this is Derek. We brought in the big guns to talk about the solutions and uh, some nice recipes for people Thanks. to eat. Thanks for calling me the big guns. I appreciate that. It's, it's, a, it's an <laughs> This is the big gun right here. This guy. So today I'm going to show you how to make. We have these amazing, the the roast beast slices. You like that little play on words? You, you've had these, yeah? I love these. I have a packet every time. I never have one slice. What are we doing with these? I'm gonna show you how to make a really delicious, like in America they have this restaurant called Arby's and they do like roast beef sandwiches. Aren't they like multiple different slices? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I'm gonna show you how to do a, I used to own a deli as well when I was younger, sorry, in my younger years, younger chefing years. So I'm going to show you how I would do a, uh, a roast beef uh, onion mushroom melt. <clears throat> that sounds so amazing. It's super indulgent, dirty. Oh, we got Frankie coming in. She knows what's going to happen. Frankie! Hey, Frankie. Frankie. Frankie here. She loves this. I know if you are here. Oh, thank you. And you can have one. <laughs> mm. So good. All right, so I'm going to have to chop an onion here, and I want you to... Just a quick julienne. I peel them ahead of time just to not waste time. If you're an onion, I wouldn't mess around with Derek. If you get cut <laughs> up real quick. And we're just gonna saute these. So I'm only doing this much. One onion would be sufficient at home if you're just making one or two sandwiches. I am gonna cook these. We're gonna cook, caramelize these down a little bit. So a little bit of oil. And that'll help it along. Yes. And we just want that flavor. What it does is it, it cooks out the moisture and it starts caramelizing all the sugars in the onion. Yep. And then it, that browning, nice, delicious flavor. It's not burnt, but it's like golden, yeah. caramely onion flavor. And that's flavor. the flavor. That's the flavor it's, trick. It's a flavor trick. Exactly. Mm. So I do it on a medium heat and you just let them sit there for a little bit with a little bit of oil and we'll let that cook down for a minute. In the meantime, Will you help me out by buttering these buns? I will butter you're, your buns any day, Derek. <laughs> Never good. thought you would not. I was waiting for you to ask, but here we are. You're and we've got vegan butter for the buns here. Yep, please do. So one of the things I like, which we haven't done a lot of at all on here yet, is I like cooking the mushrooms. Yes. So in Tesco, Tesco is one of the only retailers I know that sells the whole cluster mushrooms. And I'm a huge fan. If anybody sees what I do, all the work I do with the mushrooms, I do love a good brown oyster Well, mushroom. don't you have a, a mushroom manifesto? I do, too. It's right. I do, two of them. We just came out with volume two, and it's free to download. If you go to wickedkitchen.com, you can just uh, sign up, and you get a free two volumes of mushroom manifesto. Damn. Thanks for, mentioning, thanks for reminding me. I'm just going to add mushrooms right to this top. Usually, I would take this whole thing, and we could make a steak out of it. Oh yeah, like Never a pressed like, steak. Yeah, we'll exactly. show the B-roll of the pressed mushroom steak from Derek's channel here. Yeah, you can see that. I have plenty of videos on the, on the YouTube there. But I'm going to add this mushroom right into it. I'm just going to pick them apart. There's not actually mushroom in that pan for them. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a if, dad joke? Is that a bad one? Dad, okay. That's a dad joke. So if you look at just the way the fibers, this is how I judge a mushroom. You can't do that with button mushrooms or chestnut mushrooms. Uh -huh. But the fibers, it's just so much like muscle. It is. It's like a meaty sort it's of... super meaty. Mushrooms are like a superfood of the... They are, man. It's a secret they're, of nature, aren't they? They're, they're amazing. Stay away from the magic ones, though, kids. Uh, yeah. You know, don't want to touch those ones. So I'm just going to move the onions around. You don't have to mess with them too much because I do want them to cook down. Now, do we want to add any... Um, Sherry to this? Are you opposed to adding alcohol? I mean, if the alcohol's away? burned off, I'm fine. Yeah, you can add it as a cooking, and I don't mind. It's okay. good. Okay, so hold on. Let me get some of that. So the idea of us uh, doing obviously a beef recipe is so people don't eat the cows, basically. And uh, you can, if you can't find Wicked, because Wicked's mostly in the UK, it's heading to the US. Um, are you in the US yet, Derek? We are. We're They're in the US. This isn't there. So we have all the sauces and all the 
these uh, pots and the porridge pots are the all pots. in the US. In Kroger's and in Sprouts. You could probably find uh, another slice if you're in a country that doesn't have that doesn't have the privilege of having Wicked yet. You know, obviously the beef industry's terrible for the environment, horrible for the animals, and the dairy cows who produce the milk for people will be slaughtered for their bodies as well, turned into patties and slices when you can just have a vegan alternative. Much better. I'm just adding a little bit of sherry. You can use Marsala wine. You don't have to use this at all. It's just an added flavor, but if you have a little bit of sherry, just add a little bit in here. It's like a half of a shot. It just adds that extra sweetness to the onion, helps it cook along. And we're cooking that down. So most of the work is gonna be with this topping in this. So I wanna caramelize these onions. We're gonna just get this going really nice. We'll pop this in the oven, toast up the buns. So just a little bit of salt and pepper for taste. Season your food. Pan is on hot. So all I'm gonna do with this, because I don't need to cook it too much, you can really make a nice caramelized onion. You can lower the heat. You could do this for about 15 to 20 minutes. We could stand here and watch the onion. We're trying to make this quick and easy. I'm gonna, I have my oven on 200 degrees, and because I use cast iron pans, you wanna use an oven safe pan. So this is just popping in. And while that cooks, I'm gonna prep the rest of it. So Derek, when did you go vegan and why? I went vegan about six years ago. So the day I left my last job, which was at Whole Foods Market, I was the global chef for Whole Foods in the US. I, uh, I went vegan the day I left. It's funny, because it's a good story. My brother and I, my brother Chad, he's been vegan for a long time. Really? And I was, during my tenure at Whole Foods, I wasn't vegan because I was the, the global chef for the company. So I worked across all categories. And I worked with the seafood and meat department, but I also, cooked vegan at home, but at work I didn't. And what I noticed was people listened to me because I wasn't vegan. And so if Chad would have made something because he was the vegan chef, people had this perception of like, oh, it's not gonna taste good. And so I would come along and I'd say, hey, check this, you know, I might've been out with you already, had a couple beers and had a burger or something in the evening. And I'd come to work and I'd say, hey, look, man, I made this with no animal products. And they were so more apt to try the food that I made them. Wow, that's bizarre. Than what Chad made them even if it was the same dish, because he's vegan. Do you know what I mean? It's that it's mind, it's, it is super interesting. It's a, but it's the way your mind works. I equate, and it's a good conversation here, is like, I equate the steps to going vegan or plant-based is the same as the five steps of grief. You first deny it. You're like, no way, I'm not going vegan. Why the heck would I do that? No way, why would I change my life? And you get angry about it, I'm not gonna do that. No way, I don't care. And then you're just like, well, all right, maybe I'll try once a week. One meal a week, I'll try meatless Monday, that's it. Is this a negotiation then, stage? Yeah, you know, you go through the whole, rationalize it, and then pretty soon, you, you know, and then I, I accepted it. Over the course of five years is what it took me to go completely vegan. Wow. And, it, and the moment I went vegan, though, was when I really got creative. Yeah. With the food, because then there's no crutches. There's yeah. no like, oh, I can use dairy. Oh, I can always add this. No, man, cut that shit off. Yeah. You don't allow an alcoholic a drink a week. Yeah. You just fucking cut it off at the, yeah. at the stem, and you don't do it. So. Yeah. It's just my. Well, uh, you've been definitely creative, that's for sure. And. Uh, Thanks, bud. We're making waves. Thanks. Appreciate vegan that. waves. Vegan. I've been <laughs> surfing those vegan waves. Vegan waves. <laughs> with my <Hey>. taste buds. <laughs> if it doesn't taste good, nobody's gonna switch. And I feel like I'm super picky, and being a chef, if I can make it taste good for me, it's gotta taste good for other yeah, people. Yeah, exactly. All right, so we're just gonna toast the bun. It's super important, if you want restaurant quality, mm. yeah. like at home, people might just take the bun out, put it, no, it's dry that way, it doesn't taste as good. Butter the buns, Yeah. butter your buns like you did for me. I'll let you butter my buns anytime, Joe. Right. <laughs> and then toast them, seriously. It makes all the difference. Like, this is restaurant stuff. This is how I would do it in, yeah. a, in my restaurant, so. You get a nice toast oh, on the end. Oh, that is proper. Yeah, right? So it's just nice. Can they get... see that? Can them that. at home see? Look at the toast. Yeah, that's, it's just nice and buttery, so oh. you know it's like super moist in there. Right, so it's like taking your sandwich to the next level. It is. And there's no way it does, it won't taste good. So now there's a layer of flavor on there. Exactly. And, and texture. Exactly, and so all this video series that we've been working on together, if you notice, every single thing is built with flavor in it. Yeah. And it's all those layers and layers, and so when you eat it, it is just like a freaking party in your mouth. It's yeah. crazy. I, I imagine when I build a components of every dish, that tastes good. Yeah, You yeah, could just yeah. eat that bread. Well, oh, I'll you know? right now. <laughs> so if you think that way, it's like, oh my God, if they're all good on their own, imagine them all together. It's yeah. like the Avengers.
Yes, you know. <laughs> you know now I'm mean? understanding. Now you're getting to my the head. philosophy. <laughs> now I, this is how I. Think You've given it. me all the tricks. So, uh, we open the second pack one, and I have a little bit of oil in here. Now let's get this in here. So people at home, what are these made? These are wheat and pea protein. Yeah, exactly. So I'm just gonna give them a quick sear. You can, you don't have to heat them up, but I like it a little bit warm. Okay, I'll have enough for three, so we'll do two there. And we have more here. So I got two packs. Not the wrapper, actually two packets two of- pa uh, <laughs> Two packets. <laughs> two packets if you're watching, we could make you one of these two. when we get there. So just quick sear. I might add a little bit of salt and pepper on them. Yeah. Season it up. I know I have some vegan cheese in the too. The onions yeah. are in the oven. We can't forget about those. This is a super easy. I make this for lunch a lot. Amazing. And it's a, it's pretty quick. We're it's actually fun. hitting a couple of industries here, which would be the dairy industry for the cheese and the beef industry for this these slices here. Yeah. And they're they're intrinsically connected because the dairy cows go to the slaughterhouse and get minced up into burgers or you know processed meat as well. So both those industries support each other. So. So I am using both packs, and it's getting a little smoky in here, sorry. But it smells good. A little bit of oil in here, because that's all we're getting dry. Mm. So when I was a kid, I remember using eating fried bologna. Yeah. I don't know if you ever had that, but in America, we'd have a fried bologna with mustard. And it was, I mean, thinking about it now, it's just, it's all processed. It's all just processed. I mean, you could, like, this is processed plants, obviously, and you're getting exactly the same texture and flavor. Without, without the suffering. Though. Yeah, of course. I mean, there's a huge, that's a huge piece. Yeah, because people need to make that connection of where their food comes from, and this does not come from an animal slaughtered on a farm. And that's so. why people are like, why are you trying to make your food look like, for starters, this doesn't look like an animal, and even when you buy, you know, animal products, they don't look like an animal, but we want that texture and flavor that we used to and grew up with that doesn't contain, you know, like you said, the suffering. So I'm just gonna, so this is a file your heart smoked Gouda cheese. That's what, what I have in the house, and I, I do. It's Gouda. Gouda, it's good. Very good. It's just good. Today. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm just gonna add a slice of that and then we're gonna pull those onions out. Yeah, baby. Oh. All right, that smells. Mm. This is gonna be freaking good. I can already <laughs> sense it. All right, so look at that, it. That, right? We're not done yet. We're gonna pop it back in the oven for a hot sandwich. But Ooh. I tell you what, if I had my restaurant, which I will again in one of these days. This is gonna be on the menu. A minute and a half in the oven. Just to get that cheese going? Yeah. And the bun's like, Just crisp up a little bit? Crisp up a little bit. I'm gonna top it with the Hello Horseradish mustard sauce. Have you had this, the Wicked one yet? This looks, uh... Dude, it's freaking good. Can I just have a quick whiff? Yeah, please. I just opened it too, so. Oh, it's just mustard. It's peppery. It's like nice and, yeah, it's a nice spicy, but we'll also smooth it out with the garlic onion uh, mayo. Mm. So this is the garlic mayo with caramelized onion. Yep. Mm. Oh! <laughs> Did you... I went to smell it and I seem to have Opened made a it. bit of a mess here. Oh dear. You're good, I'm not touching down there. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we're ready. So we're gonna pull these out of the oven now. They've only been in a couple minutes. Joey and I, Joey's been telling me some funny old man mushroom jokes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Oh, look at him. Nice little slight melt on here. A little, let the camera eat first. We get that right there. We got this right here. Man, that's freaking ace. You're going to dress these up, are you? We're going to dress these up. Oh, oh delicious. Look at him. Just a little bit here. A little bit on top. That drizzle. Let's get that it's a nice creamy texture. Oh, come on, baby. Come on, come on. It's a little thick. Come on, you got this. Mm. You're enticing that out pretty well, but... I know. <laughs> Hold on, let me shake it up. It's very motivational speech very, for the mustard, <laughs> come, but... Come on, mustard. Oh, and I got Frankie. Frankie, that's good. It's nice and <clears throat> thick, and I don't have the time. Come on, go! There we go. Zayn! There we go. That's gonna be mustardy. Yeah, that's good. There we go. Just a quick push down. All right, one. Two. Ready? Oh, dear Lord. Yeah, that is messy love right there. 
All right, so. How about that money shot? I would swallow that hole <laughs> like a duck. There would be, it wouldn't even touch the sides of my mouth. We got, before we get too crazy and try it, Jimmy the sound guy, get over Jimmy. here. Jimmy! It's your time, you're up. Jimmy the sound guy, Jimmy the sound guy. This is his segment here. It's called Taste Test with Jimmy. Jimmy's not vegan, that's why we want to get the, Hello. we want to get Jimmy, who's not vegan's opinion, because of course, we're going to think it's great. We've been vegan for a long time. I'm going to get this on stories okay. for Jimmy. Jimmy, go. Look at this. this is Jimmy the sound guy. <clears throat> oh no. Mm. You mm. loving it? Mm. Is it? This one's better than the, what do you think of this one? Oh, Compared to the other recipes you've tried. Favorite. This is the best one so far. Wow. Best. Oh, wow. What do you mean the best one so far? Because we've been building it up. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Mm. So for starters, Oyster mushrooms are my favorite. Oh, good. Yeah. And at first I was like, really on this, but it goes perfectly. And that mustard, um, yeah, that's it's good. not overpowering at all. It just blends so well with all the flavors. Nice. And the beef, roast beef, really nice. it seems to go really and well. And the beef the as well. Beef. Yeah, this is incredible, man. That is a dirty sandwich. So what did you think about this? You got served this for lunch every winner. day? This is a winner. This is going to be my lunch and dinner every day. There we go. <laughs> really nice. Yeah, Thank you cheers, man. Good review, Jimmy. All right, now it's Joey's review. <laughs> you get in there, dig in there. That looks oh. Oh. You I gotta get, be careful with I this. Get your napkin, where's my napkin? Yeah. All right, let's go. Mm. Oh, that's <laughs> nice and messy. <laughs> oh, wow. Back. That's for you. Of course, normally we'd be sitting by a table and eating You know, that but... punchy mustard. Cuts through the richness. There's, it's a nice mess. Mm. It's a hot mess. Look at all that. So yeah. Good though. That's smo mm. That is smoky, delicious layers of flavor, like I said. Amazing. Yeah, right. Look at that. And so simple. Look at that. So good. Look, I'm going to take a bite here. I'm, I'm going to try to be cleaner than you guys. Mm. As a restaurant oh. quality sandwich, Make it at home, vegan. Sugar. You know what I'm saying? We bring you the goods here on Joey Carlstrom. We brought in the big guns, and uh, we brought in some of the best taste testers in the world. Jimmy Sound Guy. Frankie. And, uh, Frankie as well. What do you think, Frankie? Frankie. Ooh, that's very good. <laughs> Frankie the mascot. Thank you. Thank you, Papa Derek and Uncle Joey. He's very good. Uh, <laughs> All right, awesome. so. <laughs> the roast beef melt, you guys. This is uh, really, it's top notch. Yeah. Very easy. And inexpensive. Cheap as well, which is good. Cheap, Cheap exactly. convenient, vegan. What else could you ask for? Can't beat it, I'm getting full. Except for having a Derek at home with you to cook this. That's, <laughs> well, yeah. well. But anyways, we'll see you in the next recipe, which we're gonna make in about 30 seconds.